Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to be showing you some new features that are going to be made available maybe soon. I just need to figure out how, how to go about it. Um, I'm just quickly exporting a third person art. I'm going to call it something else. Uh, move it to the desktop and uh, this is going to be the file that we're going to bring into Blender. This is Blender. Another uh, thing, people have been having issues with the plugin, so I just wanted to review that real quick. Uh, the plugin should be right there under user because you installed it yourself. It's not part of the official. I'm just going to remove it and then I'm going to click on install, find it. I have it downloaded on the desktop, install from file, and it said it worked. And there it is. Uh, everything seems to be working fine. I'm not sure what the big fuss is about, but uh, download. The latest version and maybe you'll be good to go so as always close and reopen blender when you install add-ons just to you know you probably don't need to but it's safer um, remove everything from stage import the uh, thing I exported earlier that I called example and this is our auto animation that uh, just comes into blender uh, now this looks weirder than what I'm used to is just because the LODs are present um, I'm not sure exactly why they are um, They don't really matter. We can just delete them just like that and we go back to having the mannequin as it used to be You'll notice that uh, it's off and that's just part of uh, the animation that I used um, You'll see that uh, well, actually, you won't see it because <laughs> for some reason it didn't take the animation levels. Um, so let's take a look at that by going into the... Uh, uh, do we have one for here? Modeling, layout, or no, animation right there. Should have a summary. Uh, wow, that foot lit really looks off and awful. Okay, well, let's see if uh, the plugin just fixes that for us. And as far as animations go, we would have to go all the way there. I'm just going to toss it all away instead. Delete the keyframes. So part of the new features is this. My uh, blend orient, since this is stuff that comes in from Blender, uh, from Unreal, as it is. Um, and... It basically just now comes uh, standard and is included under the uh, so you click on in object mode click on the armor going to here you find the custom properties and you have custom properties that you can later animate in the function graph or in the uh, animation node uh, editor so we're gonna make a quick uh, walk cycle to return this to the standard position so that we can break it and everything else. I'm going to go into pose mode, select everything, Alt, uh, I, what is it? Alt G, Alt R, Alt S, and that removes everything and sets it back to where the mannequin basically used to be. Um, and so that's our starting point. We have a mannequin. Um, into object mode, I'm going to uh, click on do it all here to get the rig to display and uh, in the meantime I don't think it will let me because it's probably locked doing everything that it needs to be doing but uh, we're gonna set that end frame to 24 as soon as we can and we're gonna animate a basic uh, 23 frame walk cycle that is gonna be you know it's not meant to look good this is just to show the curves so um okay here we go set uh, the start frame at zero the end at 24 or 23 we said and uh, uh go right away to the end of it and one frame after 24 we're gonna take both feet location rotation scale on those and uh, go back to frame zero same thing insert location rotation scale now with the mouse over on here and clicking I will hit home which will stretch it out make it nice um, as always you want to adjust the uh, angle 
of the rotation or I guess that's not necessarily as always uh, this uh, pole rotation is part of the latest update hasn't been showcased yet um, we just made it so that the mannequin is most friendly to us or to me for animating you might have different opinions on what works for you <laughs> it's different for everybody okay so we are at frame zero we need to turn on the recording actually before uh, that does anything and paste that paste the opposite and that should be good to go okay so uh, as always walk cycles animate up and down so we'll start with the mannequin down and we will go into side view to figure out what is going on and we're going to bring the right foot back g slide y just before it comes off the ground and then the other one g slide y to just right before it comes off the ground maybe a little less we actually want this to be based so like that with a benta thingy i think it's best uh okay so then we're going to select both copy it go down to frame 24 paste it because that's the same it's going to iterate through that and then at frame 12 which is the middle one paste the opposite with Control shift v and uh, and this gives you a sliding thing that looks like he's skating because it's not going up and down and obviously this is not how you make a proper animation cycle again this is just to showcase the curves okay so we know that uh, because we brought the right foot back the right foot's the one coming forward so we're going to start with selecting this one uh, make sure nothing is selected make sure this one is selected g and y uh, but g and x to go up and just bring it up off the floor to about there i'm going to copy it and so that the next one is the same we're going to control shift v to paste opposite and when i go play now the feet come up and down um, now uh, so in an animation cycle you have the contact post that's usually around three at around three you uh, shift your hips down a little and then uh, we're gonna copy it back from this and go to frame 12 and copy it at frame 12 and then at frame 24 same thing uh, frame 3 copy it and then from 12 we know that three frames down 13 14 15 that's when we copy this position and then this goes up and down now uh, there is going to be an app right at the pass so g y uh, z rather and bring it up and then that's going to be at frame 6 and at frame 18 up and down all right and so you have this weird looking duck thing going on um, little trick to make that look better if you will uh, we select one at a time actually go here and just set to uh, root parent follow and the other one too root parent follow and now if we play that uh, the, the arms move along it looks less duck like um, you know what while, while we're at it why don't we just uh, go into frame zero and uh, make him not look like a duck it takes five seconds just copy it paste opposite good to go <laughs> or not G Y bring out oh, oops yeah don't do that while the animation is playing always go back to frame zero and just have fun with it like that and you know what since I'm in it why not just quickly rotate the hand out and select all of the fingers but not the hand which I think I misclicked there and then scale to bring the finger ah before you do that select individual origins on that there you go okay so that closes up the hand i'm going to select the hand again copy and then up frame zero just paste opposite and uh you know it's not perfect we don't want it to be perfect i just wanted to show you a couple of animation tricks um since we're since this is a new feature as well i'm going to quickly show it you can now select the shoulder and kind of fix that and because the arms were copy and pasted you can actually hang on 
pull back. So rotate on Z to get that, and then rotate on Y to get that. And then what you have to do is check over here that your uh, muscle is not bulging like that. So rotate on that, on the X, bring the muscle back down so that it doesn't look too bad. And then copy it, and Control shift d paste opposite, and ballpark it. There you go. So this is our animation cycle for now. Uh, very zombie-like. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like it for that. Uh, I just noticed that this keyframe is not here, so I was not at frame zero when that happened. Uh, so I'm just going to bring him in all the way to frame zero. And here is our basic thing. And I think if I select everything, yep, it looks all right. Okay, so going back to the plugin, we're going to click click on uh, key all frames. That's going to get everything set up for us. But now we need to worry about the foot IK. So we're going to go here. We're going to, as you saw, deselect the collection, select the UE4 one in object mode, click on the armor. Click on the armor within this panel right here. You have the costume values. We're going to have two of them. Uh, we're going to edit it and we're going to call it foot ik underscore left those are the names i use in my other project um, foot ik underscore right okay with those two values we're going to go to frame zero and we're going to uh, hover over them and press i to initialize them what this will do is that uh, basically it, it should anyway um, so we have the animation panel here. Uh, we want to, I don't know, let's just add another panel. Uh, let's do a general one. Um, mm, I'm not sure which one we just, just general, is that duplicated or not? Yes, animation zero one. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to quickly just move this about. If it would work, it would help. There you go. And then I'm going to change it to the graph editor. And as you can see here, I have the values that matter. Um, I'm actually going to delete blend orient. I don't want that. Um, foot IK left, foot IK right. Within the root. Perfect. That's just what we need. Now we go back to the layout. We go back to the mannequin. We, in object mode, select that. Control tab to go into pose mode. Select the right foot, which is, by the way, a little stretch. It's stretched too long if you're actually doing and making an animation cycle. Um, we, from, after we select that, we go back to the animation panel we modified, the 011. One. And this is what you see. So I'm going to hit home here. This is the dope sheet. I'm going to hit home here. These are the variables. Expand this. Unclick the eye. Hide everything. And then here is our curve. This is the curve we want. I'm going to double click it so it selects all the points. Control copy it so it's selected. And then we're going to switch back to here. Unclick that. Click the root. Um, you know, might as well do that. Make sure that this is the only one selected. Go back to the panel. You see foot left, foot right. Now, if we cycle back, uh, what foot had I selected? Because I really don't remember. Um, well, it doesn't matter for this example. We'll just paste it. So select or deselect or rather hide. You can even hide everything so that you don't get confused. And then just paste in the one that you needed. Let's, let's say it was that one. It probably wasn't. Just my luck. Um, within the layout, click the animation. Click the rig. Go back to pose mode select the other foot it was the left foot in fact uh, and then go back to the graph editor and do the same process that we did before unclick it click the z double copy control copy layout or well uh yeah uh into object mode i'm just going to deselect this so i know this is the only thing that comes up within this graph editor and then this one over here, I'm just going to paste it. And after that, I'm going to select them both. And because I am paranoid, I'm going to uh, select the channels uh, index, those values at the start and at the oops. 
I selected channels and hey, not a cursor that's why selected channels right there and that created a keyframes uh, I'm noticing right now that uh, I must no I just didn't have it open okay so there you go I, I didn't have both channels selected when I went and created that do it again and I also want one at 12 because I'm paranoid you probably don't even need to key those um, okay so with that being done those are the default values this is the animation tracks that uh, are active and going back to the layout we will see that uh, the bones move and everything uh, we'll go back to here we'll click on uh, key all frames again just to be safe and and then just export uh, we'll call this untitled is fine by me default settings from the add-on should do it um, with the latest up done, uh, upgrade um, and after that come back into here uh, just import it is going to be untitled but it probably put it in my documents right there okay open it up uh, select the skeleton I'm not really sure which one I exported from but uh, let's go with just the default the stuff over here you might want to double check just make sure that uh, your do not import curves with zero is on uh, remove redundant keys might as well if you want to remove the ones that exist I don't know I'm just gonna leave it at that import see that everything works double click it and here are my curves even the ones I deleted actually kind of cool <laughs> so that's my IK right that's my IK left now I neglected something but uh, the point was it works so you can stop watching if you want otherwise this is how you fix it so we come here uh, we select the tops we go into home G slide Y bring it down to 1 because that's about where the place is supposed to be also delete that keyframe that we added earlier and uh, select the two hit home again and you can see that I'm barely under so I'm gonna try and just have it be one and then both channels are selected but I'm gonna reselect them again and then just keyframe that on only selected channel okay that being done um, I can also try to get the other two removed this might break things uh, I don't know yet I'm just gonna delete it like that and uh, re-enable this key all the frames just because it's, it's habit export the mannequin again as untitled export and then within unreal I can either say re-import right here and that will bring in the imported stuff but keep those so or I can instead of re-importing it I can delete it and try to import it again the settings from before worked so that will be fine and the skeleton will be fine and if I import that hopefully everything should look perfect see only the two values all right and that's how you do it so if you open this and you take a look at it your value goes up and down according to the curve that we defined which is just a copy paste but you know you can get fancy with uh, designing your curve fixing it having the one extend longer um, so yeah that's uh, gonna be coming up uh, maybe making it uh, official at some point so we'll have to see um, what the blender people say all right, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, have a great day.